Hi, this is Tracy with Beyond 20. Today, we're going to take a really brief look at the portals between ShareWell and ServiceNow. Specifically, we're going to take a look at what kind of where do you find it in your administrative tools. Um, we won't go very in depth in this video. We'll save that for a later video. But I do want uh, you to think to know where where to go for it. So starting off in ShareWell, if we go to Managers and then our Site Manager, now we'll see a couple different options here, a couple different sites that are activated. These are out of the box. Uh, for this example, we'll go into IT, right click, click edit. And here we have some of the basic IT site out of the box items here. And so you can associate document repositories, your business objects, determine your display. How does it look on startup versus how does it look logged in? Uh, the different banners and themes, your footer, your menu, uh, and any localizations. So if we go into one of these, and I'll just go into the portal uh, not logged in one here, you might be able to tell already that icon there uh, is showing us this is a dashboard. So ShareWell primarily uses uh, dashboards for their portal services. Uh, and so we can see this out of the box does have a mobile version. It does have a tablet as well as um, a regular 1280 pixels. And then uh, just as with any dashboard in ShareWell, you can drag and drop things pretty much wherever you want your grid view here. You can add uh, different widgets if you want, open your widget, create widgets of your own. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that here, but just showing you you have the ability to you can move these boxes around, do whatever you see fit uh, as needed. So you really have the ability to kind of customize how you want it uh, and a really drag and drop interface here. Then on the other side, taking a look at ServiceNow, and like I said, this is a, just a real brief intro, but where, where do you go to look at it? Um, so in ServiceNow, in your filter navigator, in the application navigator, we're gonna search for portal to portals and this is going to be where you find all of your portals and you see the url suffix is going to be at the end to denote your specific portal the out of the box one is going to be this slash sp service portal and in here uh, things can get can things can look a little bit more complicated it's not really that complicated once you get into it uh, but it isn't just like a, a drag and drop interface per se so you do define your homepage, give your title, your URL suffix, uh, your 404 page, um, your main menu, your theme, any icons you want. So you can put your logo here, quick start config, CSS variables. And for here, let's just take a quick look at our homepage. I'm gonna open this record. And then we can see the page contents here. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to open this in Designer. And we can see fairly similar. We have the ability to add widgets, create widgets, that kind of thing. Um, we can also preview it. And then by changing in the upper right hand corner, we can preview if it's on a tablet or a PC, uh, PCs on the right, or a mobile device, uh, it's like a cell phone. So fairly similar, um, also uh, quite a bit different, um, just because if I want to go into, let's see if I want to take a look into this here, this container. Um, there are additional things I can define. I can define a CSS class. Um, so one of the things I would say the major differences is, is that when you get into uh, portals on the ServiceNow side, you do have the ability to get into your HTML, your CSS, uh, those kind of items when you get into this. On the ShareWall side, it's a lot more uh, GUI centered um, where you're primarily just adding widgets, creating widgets. There's still logic based behind it, 
but you're not affecting the direct CSS. Now, there are some abilities to do so. We're not going to go into that in this video. Um, that might be a much later one. But as far as accessing the portal and seeing where to go, that's where you would really start with your portals. And that's all I've got for now. Thanks and have a great day.